morning, now generation. Ooh, I, my voice cracked, but it's okay because I'm gonna keep going with it. Um, for those that were at church yesterday, um, I got my voice back, so I'm great and happy about that. Um, today is day four of our 29 day challenge, and today is actually our first day of our devotional. So um, this whole week, we're gonna be talking about pride. Um, next week, we're going to talk about temptation. The following week, we're going to talk about um, intimacy. And then the last week, we're going to talk about passion. So this week, we're focusing on pride. Um, so today, I'm going to talk to you guys about what is pride. Um, so um, first, I'm going to give you guys the definition of pride, and then I'm going to read the uh scripture that we're going to be studying for the whole week, basically the uh, scripture reference that we're going to use this whole week in order to um, talk about pride and talk about how it hinders us even as believers. Um, so first, we're, we're going to define what is pride. Um, pride is basically defined as the quality of having a very high opinion of oneself or one's importance. Um, Pride is basically just you worrying about you. Uh, you are um, just consumed with you and what you want to do and how you want to do it. And so um, the scripture that we're going to be studying for this whole week and kind of be going over is James 4. Um, James 4, 1 through 8. And it reads... Um, do you know where your fights and arguments come from? They come from the selfish desires that make war inside you. You want things, but you don't get them. So you kill and are jealous of others, but you still cannot get what you want. So you argue and fight. You don't get what you want because you don't ask God. Or when you ask, you don't receive anything because the reason you ask is wrong. You only want to use it for your own pleasure. You people are not faithful to God. You, sh you should know that loving what the world has is the same as hating God. So anyone who wants to be friends with this evil world becomes God's enemy. Do you think the scripture means nothing? The scripture says the spirit of God made to live in us wants us only for himself. But the kindness God shows is greater. As, as the scripture says, God is against the proud but he is kind to the humble. To the humble, so give yourself to God. Stand against the devil, and he will run away from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. You are sinners, so clean sin off out of your lives. You are trying to follow God and the world at the same time. Make your thinking pure. I think that um, one thing that I took from that passage of scripture is that. Um, God gives grace to the humble. He looks up to the people that are humble, but he despises those who are proud. Um, pride is so um, dangerous because when we're proud, we allow um, our emotions, we, mind, we allow our, our mind, and we allow uh, our will to just go rampant. Um, we no longer allow God to take control of our destiny and what he's called us to do. Um, if I just give you guys a quick story about myself, um, when I was about, I think I was in middle school, um, there was a, a thing that was going on in school and in class, and it was something that I knew, and um, Excuse me. It was something that I knew, and I felt like the teacher was wrong in what she was saying. Um, and so I, I corrected her in class. I don't know how many of y'all have done that, but don't do that. Uh, <laughs> I corrected my teacher in class, and um, I was justified in what I thought I knew. I was justified in believing that what I told her was right but after looking at things and after um, hearing her out I realized that I was wrong 
And in that moment, um, in that moment, I felt like I was right. And a lot of times with pride, we always take the, the disposition that I'm right and the other person's wrong. Um, and when we're prideful, we basically shut out our ears uh, to hear wisdom and to hear what God wants us to know. Um, and a lot of times when we're dealing with pride, um, we end up staying stagnant, which means we end up staying in the same place because we refuse to change. And um, even when we when we look at the story of the prodigal son, um, basically this kid had everything he wanted. Um, he had an awesome dad who loved him. Uh, his dad was very wealthy and um, and he um, gave his son everything he wanted. Uh, he loved his son and basically this, this guy decided to, because of his pride, decided to leave his father's covering and go and just do what he wanted to do. And he asked for all his inheritance and homie went and just partied, um, went to extravagant parties and just started doing crazy stuff. And because of that um, type of lifestyle that he was living, he lost everything. And, um, and he ended up um, becoming a worker for another guy and was in the feeding pigs. And he was so poor that he ended up eating the, the pig food. And um, it wasn't until he humbled himself and realized who he was that he decided to go back to his father's house. And for a lot of you guys, um, pride is probably one of the biggest things you struggle with because in a lot of times you feel um, good in what you in how you feel. Like you feel like you feel justified in what you're doing. You feel like you're grown. You can do whatever you want. Um, but the thing that pride doesn't show you is the fall that happens afterwards. Um, and my prayer for each and every one of you guys is that, um, you don't allow the pride of your heart, the pride of life, um, to lead you into a place where you don't want to go. Um, it was crazy how the scripture even talked about, um, towards the end it says um, make your thinking pure a lot of times the biggest struggle that we have is that we um, the way we think is is miscrewed it's um, it's tainted and if we would just renew our minds on a daily even as Romans 12 1 and 2 says um, I believe that we will begin to see things a little clearer. We'll begin to see things um, from a new perspective. And so as we continue in this 29 day challenge, I encourage each and every one of you guys to take this time to um, just examine your heart, examine where you are in your relationship um, with, your, with God, uh, with your parents, um, with your family members, um, and you know if you're operating in the spirit of pride, you know um, when, when when you're operating in that. So, here is your challenge for today. I want you guys to find three scriptures. I can't do three. Three scriptures that um, deal with pride. I want you guys to you can either send it to me uh, via email. You can find it in uh, send it via GroupMe. Um, or you can send it in the group text. Um, I want you to guys to find three scriptures um, that deals with pride. And in your own quiet time, I want you guys to pray against pride. Um, if you know that you're dealing with it, um, I want you guys to pray against it and ask God to really search your heart. Um, and if you find any wicked way in you to just remove that pride away, um, so that you can grow and so that you can move forward in what God's called you to do. Um, I love you guys. Um, I encourage you guys to journal um, during this whole 29 day challenge if you have a journal. If not, there are multiple resources to 
um, journal through your phone. Um, I know that I use the application called, uh, I believe it's called My Journal or Daily Journal. Um, and I just encourage you guys to just write down and whenever God's speaking to you through this whole 29 day challenge, um, just write down what you're hearing and we can talk about it on Wednesday nights or on Sunday mornings whenever we're having our time of prayer and worship. Love you guys and hope you guys have a great day today. See y'all later. Bye.